Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and as many of my subscribers know I try to encourage as many folks as possible to use a balanced charging cable on their Bebop 2 and Power 2 batteries because uh, they, the battery's life will be extended and uh, your battery will give you more charge and for longer flights and everything is positive. RC enthusiasts have been using balanced chargers for years and the battery that comes with the Bebop 2 uh, has some technology built into it to try to keep the cells balanced but I can tell you from experience and from some of the videos that uh, I have made that doesn't keep them balanced if you're not real 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 careful. So uh, I um, put together a video on how to build a balanced charger uh, many many months ago and uh, then I got a request from a bunch of people to uh, build them and sell them which I started doing several months ago one of the things that uh, I get some arguments about not arguments but uh, contesting about is that uh, I don't know what I'm talking about I don't really know what I'm talking about on much things but I know about LiPo batteries and LiHV batteries which comes with the Bebop 2 power so uh, just less than two months ago I put together this uh, this table and uh, what it shows and I also put um, a Bebop 2 battery comparison chart that you can build yourself and I'll put a link to that but uh, I also um, uh, decided okay I got two batteries with my Bebop 2 power and so I'm going to use one as a control battery and use the other as a test battery and just use the Bebop charger on the control battery and use a balanced charger on the on the test battery I got my uh, Bebop 2 power in March and if you look at the charts here chart here close up you can see it was the 13th day of March I got them out of the box and charged them with the uh, uh, Bebop charger and I, at that point in time I didn't have a LIHV charger but I got one oh, uh, a couple of weeks later so I was fooling around and if you take a look at this table you can see that uh, uh, it's the top of it is just uh, there's not a lot of things uh, that show any organization until I got my LIHV charger which was uh, as I highlight there that's when I got my LIHV charger so I could actually charge uh, the uh, the battery with a with the proper balanced charger so everything above that other than the fact that the uh, new out of the box charging is legitimate everything else was more of an experiment and just playing around until I got my balanced charger so uh, on the 31st of March uh, as you can see 2018 um, I gave my uh, my uh, Bebop 2 power test battery its full charge and you can see that uh, it, it, it said 13.112 volts now if you look up in the upper right hand corner the color code uh, is shown uh, and so anything above 13.08 clear over on the right that's in yellow and then if it gets below that anything between 13.07 and 13.8 is green the next level down another uh, a uh, hundredth of a volt is uh, 13.06 is blue and then the the lower ones uh, the, the lowest one is 13.05 and that's in red and so uh, I'm just going to skim down here real quick as you can see uh, that would be a full charge uh, at, after flying the the drone so as I scroll down through here you see the test battery and the blue field uh, always maintain 13.08 or higher all the way down until uh, on the 21st of July I could see that I was actually starting to ruin my control battery because it was just falling to uh, uh, it was every time I put a full charge on it it would charge less and so um, I discontinued as you can see on the bottom line I made the decision to say okay this I'm through testing I can see I proved my point to me and uh, so what I want to do is uh, go over some details here and show you show you what happened as the months went by I'll try to make this quick but uh, I also want it to be detailed 
First of all, a, a standard LiPo battery, uh, a full charge would be 4.2 volts and a discharge, uh, actually you don't want to get a discharge below 3.2 volts, but a standard discharge is 3.7 volts. And if you subtract 3.7, 4.2, you only have a range of 0.5 volts. There's only a half a volts difference from when you take off until it's time to land. And with a LIHV battery, uh, you can charge them up to 4.35 volts and uh, discharge them to 3.7. And you have a little bit more. You have uh, about two-thirds of a volt, 0 0.65 uh, difference. So um, that's, uh, that's uh, per, per cell. If you look at all three cells in a standard LiPo, you can charge it up to 12.6 volts and then discharge it down to 11.1 .1 volt which gives you a volt and a half because of three cells at half a volt you get a volt and a half change over the 12.6 uh, down to 11.1 .1. and with a LIHV battery you get a full charge of 3.05 uh, because of the chemi chemistry of that battery you can charge it higher so uh, but it still discharges down to 11.1 which means that you get a 1.95 voltage range and that's why the bebop 2 power battery uh, will fly the drone longer and they consider it to be a half an hour okay if you take a look at the first charge on the left hand column in the green uh, the uh, first charge of the control battery was 13.094 volts using of course now the left the green uh, field is using the the uh, parrot charger okay and so that was the highest charge I got on that first uh, first charge now if we come down to where I decided to stop you'll see it says 13.058 volts and that doesn't seem like a whole lot so if you subtract 13.058 from 13.094 you get 0 0.036 volts okay now that's this is in a in a LIHV battery we're talking about all right that's the difference from a full charge when the uh, battery was new to where it is when I decided to uh, stop uh, r running the test Whereas if you take a look on the right hand side of the column where I uh, uh, started using my balance charger, we got 13.012 um, and then we subtract 13.019 um, and we get a difference of 0 0.003 volts change. So over the period of time, the uh, control battery as far as getting it to a full charge you lost almost uh, 0.2 volts 1.018 volts of a full charge but with the uh, using a balanced charger you only lost three thousandths of a volt in other words you lost 30 30 uh, I'm looking at my paper here you lost 36 thousandths of a volt on a of a in a full charge using the bebop charger and you only lost three thousandths of a volt so it's about ten times more now remember now this is only over a period from march let's see where's that at okay from march 31st until june 20 21st when i decided not to run the test anymore so i lost uh, ten times as much battery charge in that few months of period as I lost with the with the Bebop battery as I did with my using a balanced battery so um, I'm, I'm not gonna ruin my Bebop battery anymore <laughs> I'm just gonna stop running this test but it's uh, it's pretty obvious that using the Bebop charger will not keep your battery as charged up and give it as long a life as if you use a balanced charger and I'm not trying to sell balanced chargers I've got a, 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 a page on, or a video on how to build one in fact with the new drone that parrot put out i'm sure people aren't going to be buying bebop 2s much anymore but uh, if you do have a bebop 2 if you use a balanced charger on your bebop 2 battery that battery will last longer give you longer flights and stay in better health than if you use the uh, charger that comes with the bebop 2 so I want to thank you for watching. I've got links to the videos uh, that I've referred to in the uh, comments below, in the, I'm sorry, in the description. And uh, so I want to thank you for watching. 
and uh, take care of your bebop too. God bless you.